on this channel we only give you updates that concerns chelsea and chelsea alone all right good morning good afternoon good evening depending on where you're watching me from over here is evening but over there might be morning over there might be afternoon you understand um if you are new to this channel do it to like share subscribe follow this page because on this channel we only give you updates that concerns chelsea and chelsea alone i mean obcv that is what we deal on we only give you updates that concerns chelsea all right um first of all i want to talk about the deal that has been trending all over the town I'm talking about the deal of getting a new goalkeeper. I wish you have already seen the, the green light of the new goalkeeper. I'm talking about Philip Jorginson. His deal is about 99% done. 99% done. A long-time contract has been uh, agreed. And also payment structure has been agreed. It's just left for Chelsea to sign documents and this deal will be completed. And the next minute here we are, here we go. And the player will be unveiled. Well, um, Philip George is saying, I don't know, he's a very good goalkeeper when it comes to foot football. He knows how to control football very well on his feet. But the thing is that, though I've not really watched him, I don't watch Villarreal game. I don't watch Villarreal game. It's more like my, my own opinion and thoughts. You can still drop your own thoughts too. I don't know how good he is when it comes to the goalkeeping side. Ball control with his feet, excellent. We have seen the statistics, it's very good. But how good is he, is he in terms of, let's say, penalty, let's say, set piece? Set piece, because I know that last season they scored Petrovic well most of the time. Set piece, it goes. We were not good at set piece. Even the defense was not good at defending set piece. The keeper was not even good at keeping set piece like that. I don't know how good he is. Philip Jorginson in that area, or is only about the goalkeeper that is very good with his feet. After all, Nana is good with his feet, but if I'm to talk about the highest goalkeeper, the goalkeeper that considered the highest number of goals in EPL last season, I'll mention Onana. Yes, I'm just being realistic here. There's no two ways about it. You understand? I'll mention Onana. So let's get things straight. Let's get things straight. I, I keep telling you guys, forget about the fact that... Um, Coach said that he loves Sanchez. Sanchez, he never watch him. He only trained with Sanchez. But I have watched Sanchez. Even though he was not part of, he was not, let me say, he was not part of the season, let's say completely, last season. But at least I've seen a little of Sanchez. I've seen a little of that guy. Trust me, I, I, I am more relaxed with Petrovic than Sanchez. Every, this thing I'm saying is my own opinion. You might say your own. It might not suit with what I'm saying, but this is my own. That is why the comment section is there. You understand? But I, I, I am more relaxed than Petrovic than Sanchez. Now, you are bringing in Philip Jorginson, which we are not sure if he's very good at keeping some certain set-piece ball and also whether he's a very good shot stopper or penalty stopper or whatever you call it. But we are just looking at the area of he's very good with his feet. And uh, Mareska, the fine keeper, very really good with his uh, with, with leg. That is the area that every Chelsea fan is just looking. Only that area is very good at with his feet. Okay. Since they have specified that this is the kind of goalkeeper they want, I'm not against it. When, we, when Mendy was in Chelsea, they did not specify whether they need somebody that is very good with his feet or not, they only say that they need a goalkeeper, a person that is very good at the post. You understand? And luckily for men, the, the defense line was also solid that period. So everything was just 100%. So let's watch. Let's watch how everything plays out. As, as far as Mareska will give us results, no problem. You understand? I'm not against this. We move. So... Philip Jorginson is coming in in no time soon. And also, Petrovic will be out for the market. Any club that is interested should be fast because he's a very good goalkeeper. Petrovic is a very good goalkeeper. I'm just saying, I'm just saying this from my own point of view. He's a very good goalkeeper. Last season was not, was not that easy. Chelsea struggled a lot last season. That guy saved us countless times. And messing him up. I don't know. I don't know. Well. At Chelsea, <laughs> anything can still, anything can happen. Then going forward, um, 
KDA said something about Enzo Mareska. You say that Enzo Mareska will definitely surprise a lot of people at Chelsea. <laughs> well, I know that for since the arrival of Mareska and his unveiling, and since he started training both in Cobham and USA, the players have been saying some 99 things about the coach, including some Chelsea fans have been saying some hopeful words about the coach that they believe that he's going to do well, believe that mm -mm, no problem. KDH has said it, that he's going to surprise us. No, voila. I'm not doubting the coach ability, but let me see. I want to feel that surprise. Surprise me, win the conference league, win the EPL. That is what I call surprise. Win those, win that, win those trophies. No, but it's not about qualifying for Champions League. Win something. Win trophy. Since 221 or 222 that we won that, the Champions League, Club World Cup, and Super Cup. Since then, till now, nothing. Last season, we would have won the Carabao Cup if not for Pochettino's own mistake and also the players lacking behind, not looking as if they are not ready to win the trophy. So please, Mareska, do well, oh. do well. See, we are giving you everything that you want. You said that you need a goalkeeper that is good at his feet. Now they are doing that business to bring a goalkeeper that is good at his feet. And you already said that Sanchez is also good at his feet. That he just needs like two. So make sure you do well. Do well. Almost everything that you're asking for, we are giving it to you. I'm surprised that when initially it was looking as if the coach did not even have face or talk or hand in the transfer. But now it's looking as if he's, he's more involved in this transfer window because KDH definitely was involved in the KDH deal for them to bring KDH to Chelsea. He was involved. Um, this other keeper, too, he's involved. Magu is also involved because, my, according to Magu, he communicated with the coach before then. So he's also involved. So let's see how everything plays out. Then, as for this guy, I don't know why Chelsea don't, don't learn. All these Brighton kind of players. They say that Chelsea still haven't given up on Samu Almaradion. However, Athletic don't wish to sell sell. And it may take 70 million euros to change their mind. 70 million euros. Then when you collect 70 million euros from Chelsea, you come to the back and pay 40 million euros to sign uh, Konogalaga. They play. All these players, really like Brighton kind of player. We don't need it. I don't really fancy this Samu or Monodion, Abi, whatever they call it. I don't fancy him. Please, for me, I would, my advice to Chelsea board is that let this guy play next season. Let's see what he can do. Let him play next season. Don't be in a haste. We are not ready to start grooming or start being patient for anybody with anybody next season. We are not ready for that. That is why when they signed Magu, I, I, I was just relaxed. Okay, fine, no problem. We are not ready to sign another upcoming. As per, per want to sign in number nine, we are not ready for that. If you want to do a deal, bring in a striker. Bring a very good striker. A known striker, a registered one, one that we know that is, is a threat in his league. Haaland, Haaland, Haaland was a threat in the Bundesliga when he was in Borussia Dortmund. That was why Man City went to get Haaland. First season in Man City, what did Haaland do? Haaland still remained a threat, no matter how bad it is, he still remained a threat as a striker. Last season, I know that last season was kind of sloppy for him. But he still remained a threat because he got a very good striker. Nothing like we want to do a try and error. We don't want try and error. The only try and error that we have done that did not even work for us, Seth, that we, okay, maybe we'll pray that next season might work, is Jackson. Now we have brought in another try and error, which is Magu. We are hoping that, okay, maybe it can, it can work for us. And you want to add Samu, another try and error again? No, now. No. And we are talking about wingers too. Wingers. I posted a picture of this uh, Trekia George that if Chelsea can allow that boy, I'm not saying that he has gotten to the level or is ripe to be in the first team or this team, but truth be told, if we give him the, the space and the chance, 
that boy will play very well. I watched that guy against Wrexham. There is this move. If you don't, if you're, if you're a footballer and you play football, you will understand what I'm saying. He might not be giving that face like that. Camera might not be pondering on him much, but there's some certain move that guy make. You say that. Let them give him that space. Let them give him that chance. You understand? That judge, they should give him that, that space in that wing. Give that boy space in that wing and see what he will do. Don't be surprised. Let's say tomorrow game now against Celtic. Mareska decide to try him again in that left wing. And that boy perform again. You will see, you will start whispering to, to, to the bots here. Yeah, can we give this guy a chance? Can we try him out? I'm telling you. So, that is it for now. That is it. Chelsea are 90% done in finalizing the deal of um, Philip Jorginson to Chelsea. And also Petrovic will be leaaving Chelsea too. But for me, Petrovic leaving Chelsea doesn't sit well with me. I don't know for you. Everybody have their thoughts and opinion over everything I've said so far. Thank you very much. My name is Peters.